Now at 10, Dustin Young, the owner of Young Guns Kennel in rural western Iowa, was sentenced to jail today after pleading guilty last November of 12 counts of misdemeanor animal neglect. The sheriff said dozens of dogs were found abandoned on the property, several of them dead. Good evening, Amaya Signs. While Young will soon be behind bars for his crimes, dog owners who trusted him to care for their pups, their pups aren't happy. Reporter John Kipper has, is live and has a story. Yeah, Amaya, Dustin Young got 30 days behind bars, and that could be up to two years if he violates his probation. But victims were not happy, especially because Young was given work release giving him the chance to leave jail and work while he serves us time. This tragedy could have been avoided had you used good judgment. Judge Scott Strait said he considered giving Dustin Young the max of nearly three years in jail for abandoning dogs at his kennel in rural western Iowa. But he said if that sentence was handed down, Young likely could not pay back restitution. I don't want restitution. I don't want the money. I want my dog back. The county sheriff said back in May that dozens of dogs were recovered at Young's property in Hancock, severely malnourished, and four more were found dead. Others were never located. The tragedy of it is not only the four dogs that they found dead there and the countless ones that were malnourished and everything, there's still 19 dogs missing that have not even addressed in this whole thing. Danny Allison trusted Young to train her dog Duke to hunt. Instead, Duke was one of the dogs that died under Young's care. No justice, no apology, no remorse. He showed no remorse at all. He doesn't care what he did. And now he's just getting a slap on the wrist saying, it's okay, buddy, we'll give you another try. The 30 days in jail Young received includes a suspended 23-month sentence if Young violates the terms of his probation over the next two years. Part of that is $4,800 worth of restitution. It might be cold comfort, I think, for some folks, but it's something. Young will also be allowed to come and go from jail during that time. That's so he can work to pay back some of the victims. County Attorney Matt Wilbur wishes the sentence was stronger. But Wilbur said that there was a chance Young would have gotten no time behind bars. I'm going to take it as a win. I'm not going to say it's a great win. I don't feel like it's a giant victory in court. But, you know, I'm pretty happy that we were able at least to get some jail time out of it. And now last being we reported that some dog owners were considering a class action lawsuit against Young. Several told me today in the courthouse that is still very much a possibility. In the studio, John Kipper, 3 News Now.